Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today, guys, I will do my Copa America 2024 United States roster. These are the 26 players I'm picking for the Copa America, guys. I have left off some notable players, so I'm, I'm sure you guys will probably comment that in the comment section below. And keep in mind, guys, this is my roster. This is the roster that I think will get selected. This is the roster that I think that manager is going to pick. This is So if I was a manager of the United States, this is what I would be picking. So I picked the 26 plus players according to my preference. So goalkeepers for me. Turner is the first choice, obviously. He's going to be a first choice goalkeeper. I would still keep Ethan Horvath second. I don't have Drake Callender third. I was thinking about Shaw from Columbus Crew. He was an honorable mention. I was thinking about him. The reason why I went with Callender, though, is just because he's more experienced. You know, he's done it. Schultz a bit too young, I think, for the uh, uh, the Copa America. Maybe you could use Schultz for the uh, Olympics. That might be more of a viable option. As long as I don't see Matt Turner or Sean jo I'm sorry, not Matt Turner. Zach Steffen or Sean Johnson, I'm good. I don't want to see either of those guys in the goalkeeper because I feel like these two guys are past it. We need to move on from these guys. Moving on, we have is a center back. Center backs for me was pretty straightforward. I went with Tim Ream. He's probably United States' best center back at the moment. The guy has been amazing for Fulham. Then I would go with Chris Richards. I think Chris Richards has been a fantastic um, for Crystal Palace. And then I would go Cameron Carter Vickers as second choice. And then Mark McKenzie, second choice. Um, and then I went with Walker Zimmerman as my backup. I know some people are going to talk about what about Miles Robinson? Miles Robinson for me, I just don't rate. I think Miles Robinson has declined over the last couple of years. So I don't really want to see him. And John Brooks, he, the guy, is, he's not played much in the United States in a while. And, you know, we know him and uh, uh, the manager has it flowing out. So, you know, there's also other players, like, you know, that could have come to mind, like Austin Trusty. I think I know he's also in contention. But I just feel like Sheffield has been so bad this season. I don't want to see him in the roster. And so, yeah, man, I think those are the five most realistic ones. Um, You know, I'm sure there's probably other center backs I'm missing. So let me know in the comments uh, which other ones I should have considered. Moving on to fullbacks, Anthony Robinson, obviously, for me, is first choice. Um, Without a doubt, he's our first left back. I would say Kevin Paredes should be our backup uh, left back in case Anthony Robinson gets injured. And then Joe Scally. Obviously, I would have liked to start Sergio Dest, except that Sergio Dest is pretty much out for the entire year with the ACL. So he's pretty much going to miss the Copa America. Uh, so Joe Scally will be my first choice as a right back. And then I will go with Brian Reynolds as a second choice. I don't want to see the likes of Shaq Moore. I don't want to see the likes of DeAndre Yedlin. Um, these two guys as right backs, potentially Reggie Cannon, although I don't think Reggie Cannon is good enough. I think he's very average, if I'm being honest. Um, I know a lot of people are going to go with, um, I think there's a guy from Parma. I forgot his name. It's like Christopher Lund, I think. He's also in contention. I just don't really think he's good enough. So, you know, like I said, guys, the fullbacks were a bit light on considering the whole Serginho death situation. So, yeah. Um, but, you know, we do have some midfielders that can't play as right backs. And some of our center backs, I believe, can't play as right backs. So, or push comes to shove. We're desperate. Moving on to center mids. Obviously, Weston McKinney is our first choice. Gio Reyna, Tyrell Adams, our trio of midfield. Uh, that That's probably the best midfield we can have. Then, obviously, Musa is the second choice. I really like Eunice Musa. Brennan Aronson is also quality. Luca De La Torre is fantastic. And Johnny Cardoso. I, I really like this midfield. I think the only one I was maybe considering was John Luca Busio. Um, I feel like he's not that great anymore. Kellen Acosta, I think he's done. And then obviously I don't want to see the likes of Legette and those guys. Those guys are washed. Um, <laughs> so uh, basically, I think the seven I picked here are like the most sensible ones, the most realistic. And then finally, moving on to wingers, I have Pulisic as my first choice. Obviously, he's been amazing for Milan. Uh, Wea uh, as my right winger. Now, Wea has been kind of been playing a bit more of a wing uh, defensive role at Juve. He's not playing as a right winger. He's playing more as like a right wing back. Um, but I still feel like he should be a right winger for the United States. Then Tillman has been amazing for PSV. He's been fantastic. And then I'll go with Sargent. Sargent is very... Uh, the nice thing with Sargent is that he's versatile. He can play as a winger and as a striker. And I think Sargent can give you that. If I'm gonna, if we're gonna use Sargent, I want to see him more as a winger than as a striker. Um, and so yeah. Uh, then um, honorable mentions go to Kate Colwell. I was thinking about maybe putting men in there, and the Kramaski. I was also thinking about putting in, but I just feel like these two guys. I feel like they're better for the Olympics. I, I feel like the senior team is a bit too much for them, and I feel like it's just better we just use them for the Olympics. And then moving on to strikers. Strikers was really tough because obviously. Uh, we have a lot of options, you know, Florian Balogun, Ricardo Pepe, and Hadjuites. I, I'm really sorry that we don't have Sabachu. I wanted to call up Sabachu, but I just don't think he's in contention. I also wanted to call up uh, Daryl DK, but I think he's injured. Uh, Brandon Vasquez was one I was also thinking about, but he's, I feel like these three are just better, you know. And uh, for me, the strike was going to be a big issue for the United States because we know we don't really have a consistent goal scorer at the moment, you know. All the strikers are kind of like around the same level. So it's going to be very interesting to see who uh, our manager is going to pick. 
personally, for me, I would pick Balogun. I think Balogun is the best striker we have. Uh, but, you know, Pepe and Haji Wright, they're definitely pushing for that starting spot. So let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, as a US MNT guys, uh, what do you guys think? Are you guys happy with the 26 players I picked? Because I think the 26 players I picked are generally solid. Um, I know there's some ones you guys are probably like iffy about. But yeah, I think I picked the best one. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.